sitting in the front row is this guy, who's got the staff that has a strange goat head, which is clearly in reference to Cernunos, the horned god. Aside from the obvious fact that the name has Cern in it, Cernunos is a god found in Celtic mythology. He is the god of fertility and vegetation, and is considered the lord of the forest and master of the hunt. He also has a connection to Pan, the Greek satyr, which is interesting because the location where Jesus declared that the gates of hell won't prevail against the kingdom of God, he was standing in front of the grotto of Pan. The workers are back and it shows them opening up into the mountain and starting to drill, which interestingly has the breaking away of the rocks and then a spinning circle motif that becomes common to the rest of this section of the ceremony. Now, as the dance goes on, the members here, the workers, become more and more tribal to the point where they all pull off their clothes, they're back in their skivvies. I don't know why, but it keeps happening. The sequence that shows three workers turn into three spirits is very interesting. Once they became spirits, it appears that the underworld opened up into the outer world and these spirits manifest and it opens up the gateway to allow through Cernunos and the gang. And isn't it interesting that in Revelation 16, 13, it says, and I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs. We then see the three beetles. Now, beetles in Egyptian mythology and Gnostic teachings signifies immortality and regeneration, which is interesting because this is exactly what we saw here being represented. And perhaps what is happening here is that beings like Cernunos, demons, fallen angels, are trying to display their immortality by regenerating into our world again, as they once did in the past. There are several things to notice here. The eyes all around being a spiritual motif that we find on angels in the Bible. But then it gets even worse. The images here of bestiality remind me explicitly of Genesis 6 and the accounts of the sons of God, the daughters of men, and the producing of the Nephilim. The last part of this ceremony shows the people from the crowd come forward and all gather at the world tree, an upside down tree, clearly indicating the underworld. The primitive sticks and rocks turn into a mechanical opening, a gateway. As the gears turn and the portal opens, they arrive in a location where the girl in red is back, but this time she is pregnant. The following section is so graphic that it's not worth showing, but needless to say, the celebration continues. Eventually, as the clock starts to count down, their attention is turned to it. But as they near the clock, time starts bending and changing, and eventually we see the people fall to their knees and bow down to time. This is a very interesting gesture, perhaps to the god Kronos. But maybe they were just excited about the train arriving at the other side of the tunnel. What does any of this have to do with CERN? Again, not just the geographical location that's so close, but if you think about the ideologies and philosophies that undergird CERN, not only from the scientific perspective, but what many believe to be the occult or hidden agenda, then what you just saw through this ceremony makes a lot of sense because it would enhance 
those particular thought forms and energies that they are trying to conjure. In other words, this ceremony was a mass public ritual, not unlike all the mystery religious symbolism we've seen in major public events out here in the West. This is another example of the common philosophies that tie all these things together, which is rooted in the mystery religions and the belief systems that not just oppose to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, but in fact glorifies the fallen one as their God.